Welcome students, welcome to the class of Electrodynamics. Today we are going to discuss a new topic that is displacement vector. Also Gauss's law in presence of a dielectric. What change will cause a Gauss's law if we are going to consider in the case of a dielectric? The field due to a polarized material is the field of the bound charge. In addition to the electric field, Due to the dipole produced by the accumulation of bound charge in a polarized material, there is field due to all other charge, we call free charge, whatever presence. If the dielectric material is polarized, the polarized dipole is created by the dipole field. There are many different fields. This is the same field that we have here. It is the free field. ऑफ where rho b is the bound charge and rho f is the free charge if any in the presence now according to gauss's law what is gauss's law del dot e is equal to rho by epsilon 0 now epsilon 0 times del dot e is equal to rho we can substitute in this above equation that is rho b plus rho f similarly we know that uh, rho b is equal to minus del dot b we can substitute in this equation so what happened epsilon 0 del dot e is equal to minus del dot b plus rho f now for rearrangement rho f is equal to del dot into p plus epsilon 0 where we can substitute capital d is equal to p plus epsilon 0 e that is d is the electric displacement in terms of displacement vector Gauss's law becomes del dot d is equal to rho f taking the volume integral on both side volume integral del dot d dv is equal to volume integral rho f dv volume integral rho f dv is qf enclosed the final equation after applying the gauss's divergence theorem closer surface del dot ds is equal to qf enclosed where qf enclosed is the total free charge enclosed in the volume it is the gauss's law in presence of dielectric. 